I'd like to encourage you as you're uh, beginning these treatments to, to realize that this is going to provide your child with significant benefit. There are several concerns that uh, parents often have when we recommend uh, large volume enemas for the treatment of their child. They feel that uh, the, the enema will be uh, extremely uncomfortable for their child and their child will feel like they're being harmed. But in reality, uh, most children, after the initial learning process, tolerate the enemas very well and in fact, they don't even mind them anymore because uh, they enjoy the feeling of being uh, clean, being able to completely evacuate their colon, their abdominal pain uh, goes away, they have more uh, energy sometimes, uh, often they're uh, able to eat uh, without developing abdominal pain better, and so they quickly overcome the fear of the administration of the enema. They will feel better, they will be happier, they will be able to engage in normal uh, social activities uh, with their friends without having to worry about having stool in their underwear or having an accident. Our goal with large volume enemas is to have your child stool daily, have no accidents, and clean the rectum and colon. This is not a painful experience, but it may be scary or intimidating at first. With a positive matter-of-fact attitude, it can decrease stress and make a positive experience. The following is the procedure for administering an enema to your child. Begin by washing your hands. Gather your supplies and distraction materials in the place where you will perform the enema. Many people choose to use the bathroom. These are the supplies you will need. Foley catheter with a 30 milliliter balloon, enema bag, enema solution, lubricant, permanent marker, ruler, towel, 60 milliliter syringe for cleaning the catheter and drawing up solutions, 30 milliliter syringe, 10 milliliter syringe for drawing up solutions, positioning supplies such as pillows and blankets, distraction materials such as iPads, books, toys, homework and games. Using the ruler, mark four inches from the bottom of the catheter with the permanent marker. This will show you how far to put the catheter into your child's rectum. Test the balloon on the catheter. Pull back on the plunger on the 30 milliliter syringe until the syringe is full of air. Connect it to the balloon port on the catheter. Push the plunger until it inflates the balloon. After the balloon is filled, Pull back on the plunger to let the air out of the balloon. Keep the syringe connected to the balloon port on the catheter. Your doctor will decide which enema solution your child needs. The nurse will show you how to prepare the enema solution. Warm the enema solution to body temperature. If you mix the solution yourself, use warm tap water. If the enema solution is in a pre-mixed bottle, you can place the bottle in a hot water bath. Never microwave the enema. Warm solution will help prevent abdominal cramping while giving the enema. Pour the solution in the enema bag right before you give the enema. Some of the additives can clog the tubing if they sit for too long. Clamp the tubing on the enema bag. Measure and pour saline solution into the enema bag. Measure additives and add to saline solution. Mix additives by gently massaging the bag. Do not shake as it will create bubbles. Open the clamp and let the fluid flow out of the bag and through the tubing. Once fluid comes out of the end of the tubing, clamp the roller clamp in the lock position. Squeeze the drip chamber in the tubing until it is filled halfway with the solution. Hang the enema bag on a shower curtain hook or a cabinet. It should be close to where you will position your child. 
Keep the lid of the enema bag uncapped at all times. This will help with better flow. Bring your child into the bathroom and have them lie down on a towel on the floor. You can position your child on their knees with their head on a pillow with their buttocks up. Or have them lie on their left side with their knees bent up towards the chest. Lubricate the tip of the catheter. Insert it into your child's rectum up to the mark on the catheter, four inches. Hold the catheter at the line so it stays in the right place. Push the plunger of the 30 milliliter syringe and blow up the balloon using 20 to 30 milliliters of air. Take the syringe off the catheter. Pull gently on the catheter until you meet resistance. Keep pulling gently on the catheter during the enema so the enema solution doesn't leak out. The balloon works as a stopper to prevent leaking. Connect the tubing to the end of the catheter. Open the clamp on the tubing. Let the enema flow in over five to 10 minutes. If your child complains of abdominal cramping, slow the flow of the solution. To slow the enema flow, close the roller clamp on the tubing a little. Or lower the bag a little. Once all the solution has emptied from the bag, keep holding gentle tension on the catheter. Try to have your child stay in the same position for five to 10 minutes. During this time, they may have feelings of urgency or mild abdominal cramping. This is normal. The solution is irritating the colon for an effective enema. Use items for distraction during this time. Place your child on the toilet with the catheter in place. Using the 30 milliliter syringe, connect it to the balloon port on the catheter. Pull back on the syringe plunger to let the air out of the balloon. Let the catheter slip out. Have your child sit on the toilet for 45 minutes to completely empty their colon of stool. Use items to distract your child while they sit on the toilet. They could watch movies, do homework, play games, or other activities. Clean the catheter with soap and water and rinse the tubing and bag with tap water. These items can be air dried and reused. I have a four-year-old daughter who was born with a cloaca. She had surgery, her takedown surgery, when she was 15 months old. And we were told shortly after that that we would have to do large volume enemas. Oh, I didn't even know what that was or how to give them or what, what that would entail for my family. And so we went and met with them in clinic and they told us and trained us on how to do enemas. I went home and tried to do it myself and failed and did it again every day and we slowly worked into a routine. We were able to figure out what worked best for us. We now give her an enema every day. She is able to stay clean from enema to enema and she wears big girl underwear just like her peers. As a mom, I love seeing her be able to be able to be normal because we didn't ever know if that was possible and I'm thankful that there are enemas out there so that she can be who she wants to be and nobody ever has to know that she even has a problem because she is able to use the bathroom 
without having accidents just like anybody else because of enemas. You can do this. Staying calm, being positive, being confident are all things that can help decrease the stress and make this enema a success. Don't apologize, but make sure that you let your child know this is a fact of life and can improve the quality of their life. Empathize with them, but also validate their feelings. Involve your child with the enema preparation. Have them play with the equipment beforehand. If they can, have them help you mix the solutions and let them pick out the distraction material for that day. You will become more confident with each enema. Review the material that has been given to you. Review the video. Contact your provider to ask questions. We are here to make this a success for you and your child. Thank you for watching this video.